Okay, we're going to take a look at three words this time. My, your, and self. Why are we doing these three words? Because self is a, a common word. Myself and yourself are probably the two most common words used in combination with the word self. I mean, we got himself, themself, etc. But we'll start with these two. We don't have enough room on the board. So, my, this is very simple. We've only got two letters to work with. We got an M and a Y. And the tail can go in any direction you like. But you can't have four. Of course, you'll only have one. Just choose one. Um, I know it seems rather simple and that there's not a lot of flexibility, but there's more than you think. You can actually, the M can be many different ways. And then the Y, the tail can be short, it can be long, it can be curved, it can be straight. There's a lot of options to go with there. Just as long as you don't ever do this. If you do that, that's an S on an O. So just remember, the key in Descript is there's a few ways that letters could be combined that might be ambiguous. The Descript manual, manual lays out all the combinations and how to avoid ambiguity. But when you're doing it yourself, and if you're not using the manual as a reference, you want to do it freehand, just rem keep that in mind always. Analyze what you've written and make sure that it doesn't look like it could be something else. Your. Now, when you start with a Y, I usually like to put the tail at the top, but you don't have to. You can still put it anywhere you like. Y, O, you are. This is the simplest possible way to combine it. I'm not a big fan of it. There might be a person to see in here. You might be able to find a way to see a person if you did it right. Maybe. There's kind of a, a head there, maybe arms. You, maybe that's a person if you get creative with your interpretation. But let's try put using double combinations. First of all, OU, you are, and Y, O. Oh. So, what does that mean? That means we can put them all directly into each other. So we can go Y, we just have to make the circle large, O, U, R, your. What else can we do with it? Well, we could try putting two doubles, Y, O, U, R. We could try putting a triple and then an R at the end, or the R could come off any way we like. And we've got a lot of flexibility there. Okay, so your, there's a whole bunch of versions. And now let's look at the word self. This word I particularly like. Why? Well, first of all, we need to look at the F. The word letter F is basically this. This is the key part of the F. Um, almost always there's this bend, except when it comes into another word. But it's still, it should still retain that bend. Except when it ends a word. When it ends a word, you can kind of just use this portion, as long as you curve it like that. So they're evenly spaced out like that. Just make sure it doesn't look like a C. Okay? That's an F. I love that version of the F with a couple words. I'll give you a quick example here. This is half. Kind of looks like it's split in half. With self, I love elf. E L F. As you can see, the word elf draws an almost perfect stick man. The only thing that would be better would be olf, O L F. But uh, I don't know what that would mean. So, self is simply an S at the beginning of elf. This kind of looks like a person attached to everything. That's why I love this word so much. Uh, there's other ways you could possibly draw the word self, like you could S-E-L-F. And there's uh, plenty others, but I mean, we're going to stick with this one because it's just so beautifully logo logographic. So myself would become myself. Of course, you can make that smaller, curl it in, make the person bigger to make it a more dominant part. Like, uh, let's see, your, Y, O, U, R, yourself. Uh, you can play with this. You can try to put them beside each other. Use th that S curve is nice because you can start to move things a bit. So you can try to kind of build them next to each other. Like so. There's a lot of flexibility with this one. It's just beautiful because you got that elf word in there. Wherever you got the word elf, if you're dealing with something that's a person, you're going to have some fun.